Hey everybody, this is example number one in the reinforced concrete design analysis for flexural beam members. And the problem statement that we have is for the reinforced concrete section below, we're asked to calculate the balanced steel reinforcement, uh, the maximum steel reinforcement for a tension controlled and a transition controlled section per ACI code, and the location of the neutral axis and the depth of the equivalent compressive Whitney stress block for the tension control section in the section in part B. <coughs> and the compressive strength of the concrete is 4 KSI and the yield strength is 60 KSI. So here's our cross-sectional area of the reinforced concrete beam. We have our total, the H is 28 inches from the top of the beam to the bottom, bo top of the cross-section to the bottom. And then D is the distance from the extreme compression fiber to the extreme tensile tension steel, which is 25.5. And uh, we have, we're showing the neutral axis. Just one second. We have the neutral axis we're showing, and then the width is 16 inches, and A is the, is the length of the compressive stress block, the equivalent stress block, Whitney stress block, and C is the distance from the extreme compression fiber to the neutral axis. And then we have our resultant forces, the compression on top and tension on bottom. So in this video, we're, we'll just cover part A of the problem and then do the remaining parts in the next, uh, next videos. So part A is asking us to calculate the area of steel required for a balance condition, for balance steel reinforcement. So balance uh, condition, uh, balance cross-section occurs when the steel yields at the same time as the concrete fails. Uh, so the balance strain is when the steel at first yield reaches a strain corresponding to its yield strength and just as a maximum strain in the concrete at the extreme compression fiber reaches 0.003. So to do that, we need to calculate the steel reinforcement uh, ratio, the, the ratio of steel reinforcement needed. And once we have the ratio, we can multiply it by the effective cross-section to get the area of steel. So this is the equation for the ratio, uh, ratio of steel. It's 0 0.85 times, uh, so it's rho B equals 0 0.85 times beta 1 times the compressive strength divided by the yield strength of steel times 87 divided by 87 plus the yield strength times dt over d. So we just plug in the number 0 0.85 and beta 1 is also equal to 0 0.85 and the compressive strength of concrete is 4 KSI and the yield strength is 60 KSI and then 87 divided by 87 plus 60 and then dt and d, in our case they're both equal because dt is the distance from the extreme compression fiber to the extreme tension steel location and d is the distance from the extreme compression fiber to the centroid of the tension re to the, to the centroid of the tension steel reinforcement. Since we just have one row, uh, both dt and d will be equal to 25.5 inches. If we had two rows, then this value dt and d would be two separate values. But in our case, they're just going to be equal to one, uh, one value. So 25.5 divided by 25.5. That just that you can just say that equals this part. This part just goes to equals one. So we count the reinforcement ratio rho b is equal to 0 0.0285. And now it'll make more sense what rho B is. So rho B is equal to the area of steel divided by the effective cross section, effective cross sectional area. So the effective cross sectional area is equal to the width times D. So we don't do we don't do the width times the total height because everything below the steel is just considered n not very effective. So we don't even calculate it. We don't even assume that's acting. So we just say B times D. So we know the row B that we just calculated, and we know B and D. So that means we can calculate the area of steel required for this balance condition. So 0 0.0285 times 16 inches times, times 25.5 inches. And the area of steel for, this, uh, for the balance condition that we need is 11.63 inches squared. So this is the end of part A. And then in the next video, we'll look at part B. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.